DJ General here backstage at the Crowfoot here in Pontiac with Alex Johnson. She just performed an incredible acoustic set. How are you feeling right now, Alex? Um, I, f I feel good. I'm, this was a really awesome crowd tonight. It mm. seemed like a lot of people were excited about the show, and it was just it feels good. So you're performing with Max. Now, how did that come about? Like, What made you pair up with him? Um, it was actually my management and uh, that came with me. Um, about the idea. I think it was something that had been offered and I thought about it and I figured that as I'm in the process of finishing up my album and planning my headlining tour and um, and just in the process of looking for great tours to be on in general, I, I figured why not, you know, why not go on the road and start playing and incorporating some of the new album songs into my set. Even if it's acoustic, I, f I figured just yes, you know, I'm, I'm very into the mentality of just saying yes more than saying no in my career at this point because I mm. feel like I tend I tend to have the mind of being super cautious with moves that I make and I'm kind of at a place now where I believe in the music so much and I just figured go so I'm mm. here now mm. in Pontiac Michigan. Yeah. So is there you talked about the management like who are you with are there any talks of like a label I know you were mm -hmm. maybe talking about going back to a major I actually or? I just turned down a major deal that was offered to me um, it was a kind of a similar deal that I had with Epic Sony mm. um, a couple of years back. And um, just being in the process of finishing this album and having it be pledge funded through my fan base. And, you know, it's kind of given me a realization that I have all the pieces I need to make the music I want to make and put out the music I want to put out, even if it's more of a grind and more of a struggle financially at times. It's it's more authentic and it's more worth it for me to do that than just hand over my album mm -hmm. so other people can push the buttons on my releases. Because mm -hmm. I've been through some bad luck with that. Right. Um, and I yeah, I just signed on with Azoff Music Management, which has been um, just awesome. I've been doing so much on my own that yeah, just running my social media and my website and my album artwork and delegating the kind of photo shoots I wanted and my brand and my my font for my name and it's just too much when it comes to all I really want to do is just be able to focus on the music and play and this is the first time since moving to New York City that I feel like that team is really coming together for me mm -hmm. and um, and I'm really excited about this album and this next couple of years what's to come. So what label will you say which one it was or that I you can't say which one no. it was. No. Did they come to you or did you come to that? I'm just we're curious on yeah, the Yeah it was actually just based what... on some of the songs off the album. Mm -hmm. um, you know, there's just it was it's been talked about within the industry, and and there's been, you know, um, it's I think it's pretty apparent that I'm, you know, I'm doing it based on my, the shows and the tours and my fan support. So, mm. you know, I just don't want to make any fear-based decisions around this record. I want to make sure that I have control. But yeah, they approached us, and I met with them in London, England, and um, and yeah, it just. You know, onward and upward. I'm just gonna wait till it's the right fit. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna wait until. But that being said, there's definitely some talks with this amazing distribution company mm -hmm. um, that's attached to a major, where I have more freedom and I get to get my album in stores. And um, again, I feel like this record's gonna be. I know it's taken so much time to get done, but even once it comes out, it's gonna be a good mm -hmm. couple of years of promoting it and right. getting on the road. And there's artists I dream of touring with, whether it be Matt Nathanson or Train or. I was just gonna say Matt Nathanson. I'm seeing him actually in a couple of weeks in nice. Michigan, so nice. it's pretty awesome. Yeah. He does. Sorry to cut you off, but no. he does a cool thing now. I just saw where if you buy his shirt. Um, he'll meet with you after the show, like you get a wristband for the tour, and then mm. they're gonna meet him at that. So I thought that was something that was really cool for someone of him, because he's obviously a really big. That's a really cool thing. To do. So yeah, yeah, I love getting creative like that. Mm -hmm. Like even doing VIP on this tour has been, it's been cool. You learn as you go. Mm -hmm. You know, I realize that a lot of fans want photographs and they get upset if they don't get a picture. And I delegated photos just for VIP. Mm -hmm. That's this tour. Right. But as things progress, you know, and I'm opening on this tour, so I wasn't really able to do a private show mm. or an acoustic song personally for VIP just because Max was doing that and the spaces aren't as big as my European tour with Ron Pope mm. so it's just learning as I go but um, yeah I mean I, that's the plan and just I just signed on with a great booking agency as well and I just feel like it's gonna be good and I'm willing to do the work mm -hmm. So I'm a little tired right now. It's been a, kind of a grind of a tour, but I've mm. had some amazing women with me on this tour, playing on stage with me and helping delegate my merch and tour managing. And it's been it's been awesome. 
And you're doing a great job too. You know, it's basically you at the end of the day. So you don't really need a major, you know, label. So yeah. well, yeah. maybe so one day, that. you know, but maybe you know, one day. Just, yeah. I think you've definitely made a lot of progress just since last year when I saw you. Oh, so good. thank you. But um, so the pledge music, the campaign. I think you know we don't need to say there's been some issues, not necessarily on your end, but with people and miscommunications from all different sorts of people. Mm-hmm. So do you have anything to maybe clear up or? At this point, I just I, it's really not about updates anymore. Mm-hmm. Um, the people that have pledged, I gave them a hearty P. Mm-hmm. Um, the album will have brand new songs on it, so they basically are going to be getting two records. Mm-hmm. I really have nothing to say, and besides, I'm so excited to just pledge my album, Let's wait for put the it up it's online, <laughs> and give it to people mm-hmm. via computer, and send them their packages when it's ready to go, mm-hmm. and the new merch is made, and have it all just around my next tour. Um, it just, I, I just, I feel like. Um, everything I had to say was really in the Heart EP. So I was going to ask to clear up, the Heart EP is completely separate. None of the songs from that are going to be on the album? Yes, correct. So it's all brand new? All brand new. So that's definitely exciting. So I think a lot of people were wondering about that too. I should probably at some point when I get a breath do a post <laughs> to pledge and let them know, but yeah. I've just been so concerned about my live show and my record. Mm. You know, I appreciate the patience though for sure. Do you know how many songs are going to be on it? or? Do you know the um, list yet? or I do know the list. Mm. Um, Can't say it yet, right? Well, Top just secret. because I'm deciding on putting an extra song. You know, it's like that last stages where... Mm. Extra songs. We want the extra songs. Exactly. <laughs> so I can't really say exactly, but um, I think it's going to be a really cool day when I'm able to just put it out there and mm. quiet the noise a bit. Uh, can we definitely say it's coming this year, for sure, the album? Yes, it's coming this year. For sure. For okay. sure. 100%. 100%. All right. We're locking it in right here in this interview. Mm-hmm. So yeah, now some other projects besides just music. You were on uh, Blue season mm-hmm. three. Yes. Um, uh, so what was that experience like? I know you really liked it. They really liked having you, and there was talk of doing maybe another season mm-hmm. and you coming back. Have well, you kind of ended it very like you um, know open ended? Totally. Bit, so. Yeah. Um, I mean, we'll see. It there has you know I, I you know I can't say. I'm not allowed to really say anything, actually. Right, but you traffic. would come back if you were asked, right? Of course I would, yeah. Mm-hmm. It was a really cool role to play. It was very, like, you know, I, again, I thought it was a cool opportunity to get some of my my own acoustic songs onto a show, mm-hmm. and it was really cool to be able to play songs like I Can't Hold Back, Breathing In Your Smoke, Mary. Mm-hmm. Um, that was a cool experience. And it was a character that's so outside of me and so different from me. I really... Um, I felt a responsibility, you know, to portray um, a lesbian, especially in such a, it's such an important time, I feel, um, in the world when it comes to equal rights, and I felt a, a huge responsibility to be authentic and portray it well and mm-hmm. true, um, you know, so that was really cool, it was a great experience, and um, Jane O'Hara is an amazing actress, and Julia Stiles is just the sweetest, and uh, that was cool mm. for me because one of my favorite movies was Ten Things I Hate About You, mm. growing up. And the director Rodrigo Garcia is amazing, and um, yeah, I think it's a really cool, very woman. I feel like it's very pro, you know, just strong women. It's just a series about women and their struggles, and mm. I'm always down for that. So mm. I, I'd be happy to do it again. So the song Breathing in Your Smoke, was that written specifically for that character, or was that a song that you had and you just kind of brought it out for this? I wrote it specifically. Were there any other, like, how did the song process, did they come to you for the, like, can you give us this amount of songs, or did you want it, like, here, can you put these songs Well, they know I'm a musician, and Mm. she's a musician, so I think the natural thing to do is be like, do you have any songs that that we can hear? Mm. So any, I sent them my songs, and then they picked, you know. Any way we can get more music from you is, is a great thing. So Aww. It was definitely great because those were uh, acoustic, and a lot of people are waiting for that acoustic album from you, just pure, just you I've and the guitarist. I've been hearing that. Them. I've been hearing that a lot. Mm, and they got to come out to my show. Or like a live version of uh, like a, like how you did the Skipping Stone tour, Let's like a stripped-down acoustic of like Tonight's show. Big seller, I'm telling you. Yeah. That will be a big one. That will be a big one. Well, you know, the only way to get mm-hmm. on The Tonight Show and Jay Leno is through management. Mm-hmm. I can't personally call up Jay Leno myself. Right. That'd be weird. Um, <laughs> so that's all the plan. Mm. That's all I can say. That's definitely a part of my 
that's why I'm doing this, is to get to that place where I can share the music with as many people as I can. Well, thank you very much for uh, taking the time out to do this. You're and welcome. Hopefully we'll hear that album soon and yeah. see you again on tour and just yeah. keep doing what you're doing. Totally. Awesome <laughs> vintage voodoo shirt, by yeah. the way. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs>